the Mobile County Commission. And uh, Cherie, do we have anyone signing in to speak today? No one has signed in to speak today, ma'am. Okay. All right. Well, um, Glenn, ready? Take it away. All right. You got it. <laughs> Number one, approve the minutes of the regular meeting of September 26, 2022. Number two, approve a list of claims. Number three, approve contract re results, performance consulting, Inc. for training and how to manage employee relations and conduct document internal investigations utilizing the human resource security case. Management software at a cost of $16,950 plus travel expenses, approximately $1,500. Additional consulting, if necessary, would be $275 per hour. Number four, approve finding whether or not the building or structure located at 11854 Old Shipyard Road, Theodore, Alabama, constitutes a public nuisance legal owner has not responded to county commission's request to remove debris by September 26, 2022. <coughs> Excuse me. Number five, approve amending annual appropriation contract with Satsuma Public Library to increase contract amount from 45,000 to 60,000 for a total additional amount of 15,000 for operational expenses. Number six, approve amending annual appropriation contract with Ina Poland Smallwood Memorial Library, also known as Chickasaw Public Library, to increase contract amount from 50000 to 65000 for a total additional amount of 15000 for operational expenses. Number seven, approve a professional service contract with MPAC Public Affairs Consulting in the amount of 13608 from District 1 funds for facilitating and administrating the Mobile County Community Remembrance Project. Number eight, approve sponsorship agreement with Rho Alpha Chapter of Omega Psi Phi Fraternity, Inc. in the amount of $1,000 from District 1 funds for its Achievement Week Awards Banquet. Number nine, approve sponsorship agreement with Child Advocacy Center in the amount of $2,500 to be divided as follows for its Serve It Up with Love Tennis Tournament. Number 10, approve appropriation contract with Bell & Graff Gardens and Home Foundation, Inc. in amount of $5,000 uh, $5, to be divided as follows for its Del Shams Boom Porcelain Gallery and Bell & Graff Chapel Facility Restoration Challenge. Number 11, approve sponsorship agreement with Fostering Together Gulf Coast in the amount of $1,000 from District 2 funds for its Fostering Hope Celebration Fundraiser. Number 12, approve sponsorship agreement with Rappahope Children's Retreat Foundation in the amount of $750 from District 2 funds for its Turkey Trot for a Hope event. Number 13, approve appropriation contract with Con Cottage Hill Athletic Association in the amount of $5,000 from District 2 funds to purchase youth football helmets. Number 14, adopt a resolution expressing support for adoption of amendments 2 and 7 on November 8, 2022, election ballot. Number 15, accept grant award from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development for the Community Development Block Grant Program in the amount of $1,688,670 with no local match and authorize the President of the Commission to execute all documents associated with this award. Number 16, accept a grant award from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development for the Home Program in the amount of $679,341 with a 25% in-kind or cash match and authorize the President of the Commission to execute all documents associated with this award. Number 17, award bid to James B. Donahue, Inc. for Mobile Metro Jail Smoke Purge Ventilation System Upgrade for a total bid in the amount of $429,000. Number 18, approve change order number one with ADCO Companies LTD for Government Plaza South Tower Boulder repair to decrease the contract by 2,540. The new contract total will be 56,839. Number 19, authorize assignment of McDonald to Levert Building wall repairs 
For the proposed fee of 13,000, work will consist of design, bidding, and project administration associated with the wall repairs. Number 20, accept the Alabama Department of Youth Services grant subsidy agreement for fiscal year 2022 through 2023 in the amount of 193,234. 21, approve appropriation contract with United Way of Southwest Alabama, Inc. in the amount of $10,000 from District 1 funds for its Engaging the Next Generation event. 22, approve change order number two with Hughes Plumbing and Utility Contractors for Africantown Heritage House to decrease the contract by 46908 The new contract total will be 1408591 23, authorized advertising for requests for proposals for the development of multi-unit rental housing in conjunction with the low income tax credit and home funds. 24, take the following action on bids. 25, approve an annual service agreement with BIS Consulting LLC in the amount of $15,000 for tax pay payment system services web hosting services, and GIS interactive map services for the Revenue Commission. 26, approve a maintenance agreement with Central Time Clock, Inc. in the amount of $149 for rapid print AR-E time clock for the Sheriff's Office. 27, approve purchase of a GPS tracking units, licensed hardware, hardware and accessories from Samsara, Inc. licensed for a 36-month term from the current purchasing cooperative source well contract in the amount of 55470 for the first year, 54714 for the two and three, for years two and three for the Public Works Department. 28, approve a correction in September 12, 2022 minutes. Agenda item number 10, the item should have read as follows. Award bid number 73-22, annual trash remove bid for local for county location to waste management, Ethel South Services, BFI's Waste Services, and Waste Pro USA Inc. The correction is due to the merging of GFL Environmental and Echo South Services on September 1st, 2022. 29 is to be voted at the conference. Approved paying approximately 469 dollars and 98 cents this commissioners came down from 720 dollars for box lunches for the 36 vendors who will be participating in the county's health fair on october 11 through the 12th 2022 so moved second and number 30 needs to be voted at the conference approval letter of support for the 2023 through 2028 national outer continental shell oil and gas leasing proposed program and inclusion of the 11 proposed program lease sales in the proposed final program to bring economic stability and lower, lower energy costs. So moved. Second. 31, approve professional services agreement with Content Fresh LLC for 12 month period for Mobile County's social media management infrastructure and content not to exceed 54,000 pending legal review. Question on that one. Um, how was content fresh selected? I'm just not familiar with them. And um, what what are they going to do for the county? Basically, I know I, I know I'm reading social media management infrastructure and content, but what are they going to do either in addition or um, or to supplant what uh, our communications department is doing now? This is they're our current contractor, mm -hmm. and this is. Um, a new year's contract okay. and they are they assist us with design placement and and the infrastructure so the build out of the the tool that we use to manage all the 36 plus social media assets that the mm -hmm. county has mm -hmm. so they they've helped us build that they help us manage it they help us with um, design content uh, strategy and so um, they've it's an it's an extra set of hands essentially and this year's contract is um, additional services they'll be assisting us with other departments that are having some personnel changes that um, social media that's been managed on site mm -hmm. um, we're going to have them handle it until we figure out um, how we're going to um, staff the department 
in this mm -hmm. area. So this is an up to contract. And this last, the first year we have it, we didn't use our entire amount, but it is an additional service because they would be taking on um, a, a big chunk of this, the shelter's uh, social media work. Is this an increase? It is. How much of an increase? Um, from last year to this year, it's, it's about 30 more, but it's an up to. Like we're not, mm -hmm. uh, we're not expecting to use that entirely. Right, because when I saw that amount, it made me think, well, that's that's really a, a full time person. So it would is is it preferable to hire to have a consultant group come in and do this, or have a person assigned to this responsibility? All of the above is preferable, actually. But um, we're working on getting another position in our office. But with the amount of um, mm -hmm. digital properties that we're managing, especially as the parks are coming online, we're mm -hmm. going to still need contractor assistance, even if we, even if we staff up um, another position. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thirty-two authorized grant agreement with Mobile Area Lodging Corporation in the amount of seventy-five thousand to support the African Town Heritage House project. And. If you would, Glenn, let's go back to 14. It was um, expressing support for the adoption of amendments 2 and 7 on the ballot. Yes. Can you just, I know that has to do with broadband. Can you just kind of briefly for public consumption let everybody know exactly what that is? I sure can. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to put you on the spot here. What is this? Okay, the statewide amendment two, authorizing the state, county, or municipality to grant certain federal monies for broadband infrastructure. And statewide uh, amendment number seven to revise amendment 772 to specify that all counties and municip municipalities may exercise the authority and powers granted to provide economic and industrial development. Okay, I know that the state was looking at setting aside ARPA funding for for, to assist with broadband throughout the state. Where does that stand? Does anybody got an update on that? The state, well, I just read in the paper that they have made some grants to some communities. Mm -hmm. um, but Amendment 2 week. is basically designed to make extension of broadband service a public purpose, mm -hmm. which gets us around the Amendment 94 issue. So, uh, okay. but, but they have... Well, just based on what AL.com says, the state has made some awards to certain communities for broadband. Mm -hmm. okay, but, 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 but we have, this is necessary in order to... Uh, for a county for, to do it. For the this, county, do it, not the municipalities, but the county. Yeah, because right. Of, because of 772? Nine, 94. Oh, 94, amendment, amendment, amendment 94. 94. Okay. All right, well, hopefully uh, that will be approved and... We can get some some assistance with that because I know we've we've got some issues in the more rural areas of the county that uh, still is they're lacking broadband services. So you know we hopefully can get um, some help with that. Okay. Okay, and we have uh, two add-ons. All right. Thirty-three. Approve contract with Hispanic American Business Association of the Gulf Coast in the amount of 350000 from District 1 funds to acquire, build, or refurbish a commissary kitchen facility. And add on number 34, adopt a resolution awarding sole source contract to Pure UB LLC in the amount of 144540 for the Sheriff's Office and commissioners are... Commission meeting on will be on Tuesday because of a holiday, and it will begin at 930. Okay. That's all? That's all. Okay. Um, Brian, what we have? Okay. Good morning, commissioners. <clears throat> we ask that you consider taking the following action uh, on Tuesday. Um, Approve the extension of a license agreement between the Mobile County Commission and Plains Pipeline LP regarding the work for the underground installation, operation, and maintenance of a 24-inch steel pipe crude oil pipeline 
and this extension would begin on March 26th of 2023 and extend for a 10 year period ending on March 25th, 2033. Item two, reject the bid for the safety improvements on Celeste Road. We only received one bid and it exceeded uh, considerably the available budget. Uh, Brian, can we back up to number one? Is yes, this, so this is just, this is an extension it is, to, yes, ma'am. So what is the status of, of um, the work that's going on with that? Yeah, that, that work was done many years ago, right. Commissioner, and that license agreement had a stipulation in it where they, they had to notify us uh, ahead of time for the extension of that uh, license. Okay. So it is a revocable license if they don't abide by the terms of this agreement, but they have they at have. this point okay. in time. So we're just would ask that y'all approve a 10-year okay. extension for this. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, well, item how three. Much do, how much do we have available for that project, Brian? And what did the we, bid come we in We had uh, about 470000 commissioner available, and that's a 90-10, 90% uh, funding from the state and the feds, and then it was 10% with the county. And the bid came in about 1.2, 1.3 million, and the stip the agreement between us and the state was that the county had to cover all of the overages above what they had committed to. We just don't have that kind of money. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop back and see if we can reduce the scope of the project and revise the agreement with the state and get ready to try to bid again. Mm -hmm. no. Okay. Is there any chance that, given that amount, that the state might later kick in more? We're, we're asking that question, Commissioner. <laughs> it's, say, sure. It's a very, uh, very competitive uh, allocation process for mm -hmm. this high-risk rural road, which is this HRR mm -hmm. funding, mm -hmm. and it's through the state, and it's very competitive throughout the state. And we felt very fortunate we were able to get this amount, and we're going to jump back in the pool there and see if we can secure some more. Which leg of Celeste Road is this? This would be the section just south of Citronelle, mm -hmm. running south we're down towards um, Saraland, where it's windy and we got some up and mm -hmm. downs and we're having a lot of run off the road type accidents there and we're just trying to help make those a little safer. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, item three, approved right away, easement agreement for track 13 on one of our 2018 page go projects. Item four, approve right away easement agreement for tracks 9, 10, and 11 on one of our 2014 page go projects. This is the section of Dawes Road from Cottage Hill Road northward up to Jeff Hamilton where we're proposing to go in and widen and put a three-lane curb and gutter section in there. Item five, authorize the acquisition of property and acceptance of right away deeds for the projects listed. Item six, authorize assenting to the county engineer's approval of an extension of the approval for a preliminary plat for a one-year period from the previous date of approval, and this is for Ross Field Phase 1. That is in Commission District 3. Item 7, approve hold harmless and indemnity agreement for FY 2022-2023 for the City of Chickasaw. Item 8, approve preliminary and final plat of Dewitt's Place, which is in Commission District 3 and preliminary and final plat of the resubdivision of a portion of lot three as subdivision, resubdivision of lots one and three, that is also in Commission District Three, and preliminary and final plat of the resubdivision of lot three, Wright Farms Estate, which is also in Commission District Three. Item nine, approve right away easement agreement for track five on one of our 2020 pay-as-you-go red drain basin pay projects. And item 10, approve the Public Works Department to construct a parking lot for the new Tanner Williams Volunteer Fire Department. And that's a gravel lot. Correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. Commissioners, that is currently it. Okay. All right. Anything else? Commissioner, anything mm -hmm. to add? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we will stand adjourned until Tuesday at 9.30 a.m.
Have a good day, everybody.